Here we are at the One World Observatory. We are currently waiting for Virgin Voyages, the panel discussion with Sir Richard Branson himself and other executives. So excited for the morning. We're going to hear a lot of exciting announcements. Come with me as we enjoy. Welcome to One World Observatory. make ship happen. <laughs> Let's get this started with the man of the hour. So Richard, from planes, trains, to spaceships, you seem dead set on conquering all areas of travel, but what made you choose cruises and why now? Well, uh, I first came up with the idea when I was 27. Um, I didn't fancy uh, traveling on any of the cruise ships that I'd read about and, and got had feedback about, but I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I could create a cruise ship for under 30 year olds where we could have a blast? Um, anyway, I reached 30, still, still hadn't pulled it off. Um, reached 40, under 40 year olds, still, still didn't, still didn't pull it off. I've, I've just kept going and I haven't, I haven't given up. So now I'm very much talking about this, this is going to be a cruise ship for young, young at heart rather than necessarily under 30. Uh, Tom, this one's for you. So you guys have set the epic sea change for all uh, as a motto. What does that mean? So, you know, when you start a business as an entrepreneur, you, you need to think about creating the right culture. And because you need to make sure that everybody is focused on exactly the right thing. And the way you do it is with a brand purpose. And, it, and ours follows along the same lines of the Virgin Group. Virgin Group's is changing business for good. Ours is an epic sea change for all, which means, and all is very broad. We're creating something called the, the, the Scarlet Squad, which is really a focus on uh, gender equality. And there's a whole program about that. Actually, D is the big sponsor. So you want to tell us a little bit more? Yes. I mean, we realize that in the maritime and technical roles in the cruise industry, there's only around 3% of, of individuals are female doing these roles, which we just thought were cra was crazy, and we needed to do something about it. Virgin Galactic, I was asking about, you know, the ability to use Virgin Atlantic miles on Galactic, and now with Voyages, how are you guys viewing loyalty? And We are now setting up something called Virgin Red, um, uh, which will pull all the various Virgin companies together, and. Um, and reward people, you know, as, as, as they go on cruises or use our planes or, um, you know, go into space or whatever. And, and, and um, so I think, um, you know, that's going to be launched with a big fanfare this year, and I think that will, yeah, that will help. Today is an incredibly exciting day. Six and a half years working to create this company, and a lot of people always ask me, when are you going to go on sale? When are you going to go on sale? It's today. Today. Today is the day. Yes. Um, and you say no kids allowed, so is it 18 and up, or will you will you bend the rules if there's a really well-behaved 16-year-old? Richard continues year old? to ask me to bend the rules. <laughs> so I'm, we I, have done, I, no, Richard, we're, 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 we'll have a vote on this. So, right, I, I think 16, you're an adult. I, lo I left school at 15, I started my business at 16, and I would hate to be called a kid when I'm 16. So I'm pushing for 16, he's insisting on 18, he wins on these sorts of issues. Uh, uh, finally, I win at uh, something. 16 or 18. <laughs> We've got a couple of them. Nice <laughs> try, Richard. But listen, we have done a ton of research around and really trying to create a sophisticated experience. And as we talk to our future sailors, the feedback is overwhelming that even from moms and dads who have young kids, they want a holiday away from the kids. So there are actually people creating stuff for us now. Their proposition was so different and so in line with our creative voice that we couldn't say no. There's a rebellious quality in the sense of like when I say kind of game changing, just breaking all the rules and going into a place that's sort of more, I don't know, vital, essential, that there's something that has more to do with our, our genuine desires and that's really exciting to me. Cruise lines have approached me before and they needed it toned down and Virgin wants me to make it even more out there, even more edgy. Collaborating with the team of Virgin has been incredible because they keep wanting us to go further. This is going to be a foodie's delight. I mean, I love to eat, and I think a lot of the team will love to eat, so we wanted to make sure that we really rival the best food cities in the world as we created our food experiences. 
We're really throughout the rule book. There's a lot of misperceptions and a lot of reality about cruise, cruise dining today. We got rid of the main dining hall, we got rid of the buffet, um, we got rid of assigned seating, we got rid of the stuffy formal dress codes. Everything is um, really meant to be about 20 intimate eateries. Um, we've got food that ranges from upscale Mexican to Korean barbecue to a food truck lineup that's gonna be out of this world with a noodle bar and a taco stand and all sorts of fun stuff. The other thing we also did was, um, we know that modern life, people really eat off hours. We wanted to change the opening hours of all the restaurants. We've got extended eating eating times at all of our eateries. Uh, late night munchies or 2 a.m. cravings can be fed. We've got an almost 24 hour diner. And we know that when you're on vacation, you like to sleep in. So uh, we made sure we had a glamorous brunch to wake up to and extended eating hours for breakfast as well. Uh, and the thing we also did, we went a step further, we made sure that uh, we didn't hit you with lots of pesky charges. Yeah. So all of our restaurants were included uh, in our ticket fare. And you know, we also have been teasing with this secret destination. So we also have you know, a secret destination. The balance between that cultural experience, they want a virgin beach club experience. So we will create a exclusive, for our exclusive use, a virgin beach club experience in Bimini, the Bahamas. Bimini is a fantastic little island, seven miles long, uh, not well known, but it's one of those places where there's a lot of things to explore. There's seven miles of beaches that you can walk down, explore. Uh, there are incredible water sports to go to a, to a, uh, a big ship that is still uh, anchored. It's, it's a, a wreck. It's been there for 50 years, probably longer. You can snorkel around it. Incredible experiences with uh, a stingray experience, live stingrays in the wild. The aim here is really that the beach club looks natural within its surroundings, that we've sort of been honest, that we're um, made of local limestone, we've got um, wooden structures, and we've got some great happy little touches of Bahamian colour just to warm it up. And as you sort of walk into the beach club, you will see this huge vista and be able to choose where you want to go and spend time. You'll be able to see across the pool and down across the ocean. You'll be able to choose whether you want to sort of be glamorous and lie in some very, very comfy sun lounges and sit champagne cocktails or whether you want to go and hang out in a little bit more of a bohemian way in one of our hammock groves but it's always about choice and giving our sailors an amazing day um, at the beach the vibe of the beach club is really meant to resemble some of the best beach clubs in the mediterranean so we've been inspired by ibiza we've been inspired by saint tropez the cinque terra yeah and one of the things that, that makes an amazing beach club, on top of all the things that you talked about, of course there'll be amazing food too, no buffet, but amazing food, uh, will be that um, an amazing soundtrack. Because what really brings a beach up to life is, is the right Some kind of music tunes. that sets the right kind of energy. Uh, and obviously the brand has a huge history in music, so we're thinking very carefully about um, the music program here. And the other thing we're announcing today actually is that we are establishing a residency program for DJs at the Beach Club, um, and we've uh, the first DJ that'll be playing there is actually the one and only Mark Ronson, who'll be our founding DJ. Very cool. Very he's, gonna, he's gonna bring those six Grammys in tow when he comes to, to play for us. Uh, so he's, in, he's uh, we're announcing today that he'll be playing four times at the Beach Club in 2020, and he'll be the start of a, uh, a DJ residency program at the Beach Club, which we think will make it really one of the best beach clubs in the world. Richard, it starts with kind of Richard and this uh, this focus on the environment is really in our DNA. So we're proud to partner with some companies. We have banned all single-use plastics that, that our guests will use. So that means no water bottles, no straws. This is bigger than just eliminating straws. Yes. No water bottles, no straws, no stirs, no individual serving packets. So we talked about um, you know things that are annoyances, right? When you have a luxurious experience, you want to get rid of the annoyances. We talked about gratuities already. We've talked about um, all the restaurant cover charges are included. Uh, we've also gone and said included all the Wi-Fi. So unlimited Wi-Fi will be included in all our fares, which I think is amazing because I think, I think Wi-Fi... We want them to come away thinking that this is not the best week of the year. This is the best week of their life. And that's our focus. They come away saying they had an incredible time. It's worth paying what they paid for because it, it created great value. And we want them to tell all their friends. That's how we think about person. In a sense, what we try to do with every new business we set up, so we want every, everyone to leave Virgin Voyages thinking, wow, you know, we got our money's worth. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thank